Hello, welcome back to Kirby Time Fit on our YouTube channel. Today, um, if you haven't watched our recent videos, we are in Nairobi and we are on our way. We are here in Nairobi for personal reasons and also for sightseeing. And because my mother went to Nairobi before I was born with my father to look, to go on this safari and to meet all the animals. She said she wanted to show me as well because it's an amazing experience. So we're in Nairobi and we're having a great time. And um, today we went to see the Giraffe Center and we want to try to see the National Park soon. But today we saw the Giraffe Center and we got a lot of stuff there. So I'm going to explain how it was meeting the giraffes, some facts, and also facts about the souvenirs we got and what the experience was like. So about the giraffes, it was really, really fun. Um, it was very easy to get in. It wasn't like a long line or anything. And then when we got in, they gave us shells. Like, I think they were coconut shells with um, the giraffe food inside. And um, they said you're only supposed to take one shell per person. But if you want, you can go back and get a little bit more food. And they said you're only supposed to take one shell per person because the giraffes are on a diet and you don't want to overfeed them. So we took the shell and then we went to the, there's like, like almost like a sidewalk, like balcony edge area where you can walk down and all the giraffes are coming in with their head over the side. So you can just stretch out your arm and feed them. But you're not supposed to feed them with the shell. You're supposed to put it in your hand and then they're gonna like lick your hand. It's so slimy and it's still fun because you can feel the whiskers or like hair, fur around their mouth, their lips, and you can also feel them breathing a little bit, and then their tongue is so ginormous, and it's blue. The, fact, the facts about giraffes are that, um, first of all, giraffes in a group are called a tower, and giraffes in a who are walking in a group are called a journey. And um, another fun fact is that giraffes will never ever make a single sound. You will never hear them making any sound. Because sometimes you would think that they make like mooing sound almost or something, but they don't make any noise at all. They're completely silent creatures. You'll never hear them making any sound. They, the way they communicate is by flapping their ears. They communicate with their ears. And the name of the species we met is called the Rothschild, the Rothschild giraffe. It's named after the person who founded the species, I think. The scientist. It's named after the researcher who found or recorded this giraffe and it's it's um something about the number of bumps on their head because i didn't actually notice before know this before as well that um giraffes actually have like tiny two bumps on their head almost like um almost like reindeers who have anklers so they're like tiny bumps. And I think they're like the bone is inside. It's not like furry. It's not like the ears. And like another fun fact is that the way that you can differentiate um, giraffes between the female and the male is the male has a darker brown color and the female has a lighter brown color. And we saw smaller giraffes and big giraffes. And the last fun fact about giraffes is that giraffes have personalities. They're not like animals that don't have feelings. All animals should have feelings in their own way, but giraffes have personalities. And a funny thing that happened was that 
um, we were talking to one of the people who work at the draft center and he was explaining things about the drafts to us. And he said that one of the drafts name is Daisy and she doesn't like short people or children. So um, the only way she will be friendly, I don't know how she would be like not friendly with short people or children. Would she like give them a head bump or like be kind of aggressive or something? But she said that they don't, she doesn't like short people or children. And the only way that she will like them is like if you bribe her with the food. If you have food, but if you have no food, there's no friendship.